Hello guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you this new battleship that I made. It's actually one of the cheapest battleships that I made. It's uh, 660k uh, materials and I actually designed this to take on the stronghold. So it has uh, cram cannons as its main weapon and it also has MLRS and these actually shoot over my uh, deck and my superstructure and yeah that is like a system from two other ships that i have but i customized it also for this uh, ship and then we have also lamps these lamps can actually counter most of the strongholds you know cram cannons or whatever it throws at you then we have some small missile interceptors or medium interceptors and then I also have some VLS that is laser guided, that is actually laser guided VLS. And yes, it goes top down. And yeah, this thing is very cheap, it's very efficient. As you can see right now, it's just cruising without using barely any materials. But then it is also uh, breadboarded, the cramps are breadboarded and the MLRs is breadboarded, everything is almost breadboarded. Also the behavior of this ship is a bit breadboarded because if, let's say that I get damaged from this side, right? What it does, it actually switches the side of the ship. So if I'm broad, uh, broadsiding to the right side, it will actually switch to the left side. So it's kind of like, you know, some, some Macquarier tactics, basically. So let's actually test this thing against something a little bit scary, but uh, it's quite cheap uh, compared to this uh, craft. So let's try against the crossbones, right? So you guys can see how good it works. Actually, I'm going to spawn it a little bit far. So the cramps are breadboarded, like I said, and they will actually just shoot if they know that it's going to be like a good hit. But I'm going to show you the breadboard uh, soon enough. Okay, let's spawn the crossbones. Thank you. Here comes the volley of the crossbones and it gets all deleted, right? Uh, I think I got hit there a little bit. So as you can see, they're not shooting right now and they're shooting now. Yeah, let's look at the damage. Ooh. So they are actually capable of doing almost a million frag damage because I did. I set them up to uh, frag and just, you know, kinetic damage. So already took 4%. That wasn't the best hit ever. This is the laser guided VLS, as you can see. Quite hard to counter that as well. So we should, oh, there it there goes, there you go, 800k damage, and I'm pretty sure that cannon is done already, and if you look at the MLRS, you can see it's shooting over the superstructure, and they actually switch sides depending on where the enemy is. So, 85% So yeah, the crossbones is pretty much done already And as you can see also, when it's in combat it will use all its engine power So, you know, because these engines are actually fuel injected engines and they're quite thirsty material thirsty so, let's actually stop that pause it a little bit slow it down I think it's gonna miss but you can see how nice those cram shells are and it goes in It's actually better if a uh, target has, you know, a lot of space, uh, spaced armor, or, you know, if it has metal. Because 
tends to pass through the crossbones like it's butter. Right, so I'm not repairing, I'm not uh, shooting myself. This is all automated right now. And that's a great hit, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, the crossbones, I think the steam engine of the crossbones is pretty much dead. So I'm gonna show you... Um, I'm actually gonna damage my ship here on purpose. Uh, give me a second. So let's do... 50... Uh, let's do 50 here. 1000. So I'm gonna damage... Oh, I think the... Yeah, the crossbones is pretty much done. Uh, I'm gonna need another crossbones. Right, I'm gonna need another crossbones, right? So as you can see right now, it's uh, broadsiding on the right side. Right, and I'm just circling around, you know, just making sure that it can hit with all the cramp cannons. But if I start damaging the side, okay, a bit more, a bit more, Let's see more. Or, oh my god, I made this thing tough. Uh, a little bit more. A bit more. More. Okay. Okay. So, I damaged it enough, I think. So now, look at that. Automatically, it switches to the left side. So, switching to the left side. So that's a neat thing to have, even in a tournament, for example. Yeah, I did 2.2 million uh, explosive damage to myself. Right, let me show you the inside. Right. So the inside looks something like this. Actually lift you up. So I got some era in certain uh, places, I mean, most spaces. We have some... Uh, torpedo decoys and yes torpedo decoys are a lot cheaper than torpedo interceptors we have some uh, materials and these are the engines that i'm using um where is it is it right there so these are the engines that i'm using they're not efficient right they absolutely they're not efficient uh they're around 400 400 uh, ppm but they give me around 8000 power so it's not bad it's not that not great but it's not that bad either but uh when you know it's not in combat they are actually toned down i also have a ton of ring shields i have a lot of ring shields i'm not sure how much uh, it's actually buffing the craft i'm really sure let me check here so it's giving around eight 8.6 more armor, I think. 8.6 more armor. What about you? Yeah, it's, I think it's around 8.6. Yeah, it's around 8. Point. It's, not, it's not a lot. But I mean, it's better than nothing, right? And as you can see, these uh, cram cannons, they're not, they're not that big, right? I think they are 13. Yeah, they're 13. I forgot what, what size they are. But they're quite cheap, actually. They're actually quite cheap. Uh, let's look at one of them. So they are obviously they are three uh, three cannons, right? So as you can see, they're about 19k each. So you know, not expensive at all. But they are quite devastating. And then I have also this uh, flat lamp system, which is quite expensive, 76k. But it can delete any cram. Like any crime you throw at it, it can pretty much delete it. And I'm not sure if I should add more cavities actually. Because as you can see, it will charge the lamb quite very fast time. We have some extra ring shields over here. And then if I go to my AI module here. 
Right, so this is the breadboard here. We've got some uh, PID. I'm not sure why do I have... Oh yeah, I think I have two PIDs on this one. Because I'm controlling uh, some things to make it more stable. This is the... Um, this is the AI behavior breadboard section here. As you can see, if it takes more damage to one side, it will switch to the other side. Then we have some... Uh, MLLS VLS controls here and down here I think this is where I actually control ring shields I also have chaff right we have also oh this is the MLRS section so what the heck is this then I forgot oh this is the steam and uh, oh yeah yeah so this is the engine management section here okay so that's the engine management section and then over here I've got also random frag. I can actually, uh, the cram cannons can actually switch their, their frag randomly. As you can see, it switches them every 0.5 of a second. It goes from 120 degrees to 30 degrees. So, you know, I'm doing some weird stuff with the uh, cram cannons there. Right. And not even moving, right? And I didn't even take 1% damage. And Rambot is not repairing on anything. Yep, it's not repairing. Right, let's delete this. Let's give it something a little bit harder, right? Uh, let's go with uh, Starsland. Okay, here we go. Starsland? Starsland? Am I saying it like, right? Starsland? Stars? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hold on a second. Let's make you both broadside here. A little bit far as well. So, Starstone is actually quite dangerous. It has like these VLS. Actually, they're more like cruise missiles than VLS. They're basically cruise missiles that are. Uh, how can I say? They are remote guided. Okay, okay. Let's slow that down. I wanna see what type of damage I'm doing here. Let's see. Let's see. I, I think it's gonna. Might miss actually. Go fast, let's go fast, let's go fast. Even if you breadboard the cramp, sometimes they still miss. And it's going for the propellers there. Ooh, ooh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And I think the star's land is dead in the water already. Actually, no. One of the engines is still working. One of the propellers, I mean. Oh my god. What did I. Oh, that's the. This is the Sea Whiz. No. Is that the Sea Whiz? Yeah, it is. Oh, I took the Sea Whiz out. Right. So it's gonna be a bit laggy because he has uh, missile interceptors. I have missile interceptors. It's gonna be a bit laggy. But uh, I wish they actually fixed that in this game. You know, they made missile interceptors a bit more not laggy. Right, so that's the VLS, and as you can see, it's very, very late on intercepting and using its countermeasures. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Yeah. It's already 88%, so it took me longer to take down the crossbones than the Starsland. Starsland, I don't know. VLS, you know, I'm getting half of those hits with the VLS there. And here comes another volley of cram. It's shooting around front side now. Oh, not a great hit. As you can see, it passed right through. And, you know, I might actually switch a little bit or mix my crams with a little bit of explosive. I'm not sure. But uh, it does all right like this. So let's see what happens. There should be another volley coming now. So it, it's doing some damage. It's definitely doing some damage there. Here comes another volley and yeah, it's, it's passing um, right through most of the time. The steam engine is still going, I think. Oh, uh, no, slowing down. No, no, it's still going, it's still going. 
He's sinking though. So right now, I took too much damage. So I took way too much damage on this side, so it's going to switch. But uh, it's still alright. I think I lost one of the grams there. Yep. This gram is done. They may actually hit each other here, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, I think it's fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, the Star Slant is quite dangerous. But those uh, remote guided missiles. And I think they're heat. And. No, okay, AI dead. Wow. Let me see here. It went right here somehow. Yep. So as you can see, the randomized rec ram works really well. Let's try against something else now. Um, let's see here. Let's try against. Try against the bull shark, right? Bull shark is 977,000 materials. By the way, this thing cannot beat the uh, crossbones. This cannot be, uh, not the crossbones, uh, the tear, I mean. And that's the first hit. First hit. Didn't do much damage there. Uh, don't tell me the cannon is disabled already. Okay. This thing is fast and it's really struggling to like stay on it. Let's see if these torpedoes actually manage to get me here. But I do have countermeasures. That one got somehow deleted by the missile interceptors. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I think it's gonna miss. Yep. Kinda missed. Actually missed a lot. Oh, the cannon is disabled. Wow. Okay. Ramp frag is OP. This thing is so fast. I love it. Okay, that is not a bad cram angle there. Yeah, it's kind of struggling. My ship is kind of struggling to uh, get a decent hit on it. Come on, turn! I can actually, I can't actually make it turn more than this because it will start uh, capsizing. Yeah, missed again. And as you can see, if it's a fast target, you know, and it zigzags a lot, yeah, it's gonna miss still. Okay, if it reloads now and it shoots now, it should be able to hit. Come on, there you go. Oh. That's a good night. Oh, yes. Yep. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Wow. What do we have in here? Oh, steam engines. This thing done? I think this thing is done. But I, I know. I think it has some. Uh, yeah, I think it has some battery power. Still going. It's shooting the front. Oh. As you can see, all those missile interceptors, uh, those Sea Whiz, it still just manages to 
uh, you know, get the cram on target. Almost every time. How much damage did I take? Nothing. I didn't take any damage. I'm not in god mode, alright? Nope. Nothing. Even a scratch. The one, yeah, this, this. The bull shark is pretty much done. So, you know, cram is viable, you just need to have the right ship to, you know, be usable and you just want to back it up with some other weapons like, you know, missiles. Okay, ooh, that's it. Guy's done. Right. And I didn't even, uh, like, use a lot of materials there. Alright, let's give it some materials again, and alright, let's see. The stronghold, where is the stronghold? There it is. So the stronghold is 1,400,000 materials. Yeah. 2,900 firepower. By the way, how much firepower do I have here? Only 500, so yeah, the crossbow, I mean the stronghold has a lot more firepower than this thing. Let's see what it does. There it is. So let's see what happens to the cram here. It should be able to delete all of these cram. Let's see. The missile interceptors are going for it. Ooh. Ooh. And there it goes. It's deleting the cram. It's deleting the cram. Oh no. Oh no. Still managed to got hit a little bit there. Let's see. No, not much damage though. Let's see, let's see what my ram does. I can see the torpedoes. Those torpedoes are scary. And ooh, they didn't frag so well. Okay, but they didn't frag so well there. So where are these torpedoes? Those torpedoes are scary. And as you can see, defeated by the countermeasures. comes another volley okay another one oop I think I lost the cram there I don't know what happened to my lamp system it was working first working fine might have to tell the lamps to you know have a bit more range see it works fine and yeah, I lost one of the cram cannons almost. 96%, 95%. Uh oh. Guys are intercepting me. Uh oh. Oh, okay. So I think I think these uh torpedoes have uh prediction? Yeah. I think they have prediction. So when you have like a torpedo that has prediction, right, you put another countermeasure in the front. So far, so good. Yeah, I think this one has, has also lost some of its cannons there. We are tied right now, but I usually I win hands down. I'm gonna check the lamp system after this battle. Oh, so far so good. And I'm another 580k damage. And she's starting to sink a little bit. I make funny noises.
this gate, uh, those get pretty much easily countered there. It does have also missiles. Alright, let's suck this volley here. And... There you go, he lost another cannon there. This is the only two things that I don't like about this game. The uh, air pump lag thingy you know when it starts lagging like this you can kind of see it starts lagging every few seconds wish they fixed that and also wish they fixed the missile interceptor lag not sure how they can do that though so i'm starting to win now Another 500k. So as you can see, it's starting to open up a little bit. So it might switch sides soon. If I get hit a couple more times, I might switch sides. Does... I love follow, uh, following uh, Karami, right? So entertaining watching uh, ship ships getting uh, damaged by Karam. So, like, the front half is pretty much gone already. Yeah, and the land system on the stronghold is completely wrong. It's like intercepting stuff at like 500 meters. It's just wasting so much energy for no reason. And another, another turret, go on. You can see <laughs> the frag. The grand frag is going so deep. It doesn't really care about these uh, air gaps. One of the me torpedoes is gone. That interception. Some really high interception there. Uh oh. Okay, okay. It's getting uh, getting countermeasured. Yep. That's nice. So pretty sure I'm winning now. Yeah. Took some damage though. I usually win hands down with this thing. Like, no issues whatsoever, but uh, I did change uh, something on my lamp, so I might have to put it back how it was. As you can see, the, the lamp's completely useless against the top-down VLS. Those missiles, they get intercepted quite well. Oh, I did some really good damage there. Missile. Did I get damage there? Nope. Comes the torpedoes. And as you can see over here, there's the countermeasure. But uh, I want to try. I want to try. Another fight against it. I'm gonna set the lamps a little bit more, just in case. I wanna make sure that it's working absolutely fine because this thing is going to on the workshop. And I'm definitely going to use this thing in campaign because as you can see, it's barely using uh, any material. Actually, I was giving materials, but yeah, it doesn't use a, lo a lot of materials. But I have like chaff and you know, a lot of things. I also can tell the engines not to work so hard. For example, if I know that I'm going to face this stronghold, I don't need, I don't need to be going like full speed. I can, be, I can go like, you know, 15 meters per second. That's more than enough. So I can always like adjust the material usage basically. And 
That's another volley! 670,000 damage, 690,000 damage. Yeah, it did. Oh my goodness. That is not good. Drunkhold, what's happening to you? <laughs> what's happening to you? You pure thing! I think it should say low health. Probably after this one. And... Wonder if I can make the frag angle uh, more randomized, you know? And I'm not sure. Oh, what did you lose there? What did you lose? What is this? Oh, wow. Cannon. Is almost hollow, basically. That's it. Okay, let's try again, I guess. Stronghold. I love saying stronghold, I don't know why. See if I can delete all that volley. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. There you go. So you know what? You know what was the problem? Uh, the engines didn't have the priority on the laser. Oh, nice damage. Very nice damage. Oh no. Okay. Look at those torpedoes. They're so big. They are so so big. Yep, the lamb is working now. Uh, still managed to get hit there. Right. So I'm not in god mode, see. I'm not repairing, not doing anything. I also reduced the... Um, the ship speed a little bit, because I'm... Just using too much speed for no reason. Yes, look at those lambs working. Come on, give me a volley so I can follow you. Come on, let's follow the volley. There we go, let's follow it. Whee! Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. What happened? Did I get damaged? I think so. What was this? What? Oh! Torpedo got me. For sure. Like I said, sometimes the torpedoes don't really follow those decoys very well. Come on, another, another volley! We want another volley! The lamps is working fine now. Okay, there we go. Follow the volley. And... Oh my goodness! 815k damage. As you can see, only lost 3% health there. Which is way better than before. I'm starting to have the uh, air pump leg. Kinda got stopped here by this heavy armor. I...
as you can see totally possible to you know beat the stronghold with just you know a smaller ship you just need a really good lamp system and some countermeasures and you're pretty much all right oh it went for so it went for this one right yeah i targeted this thing here but uh still just managed to destroy this one I wanna, I wanna go in here, let's see. Yeah. Of air gaps. And now it's going for the middle. Ooh, 840,000 damage. One percent. So this is the MLRS, and the MLRS have uh, magnetic missiles as well. So if they miss or they overshoot, they just basically become, you know, torpedoes. Ooh, goodness! Never seen the stronghold in this position before. <laughs> Look at this. I've never seen this before. I only lost 3% and it's dead. It is dead. Oh yeah, the stronghold only managed to... Uh, hit me with one shell cram and one torpedo. Oh, look at that beautiful. hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel i do ftd and stock and anomaly content also do a little bit of zomboid here and there um, if you guys want this ship make sure to tell me and i'll put it on the workshop it's not a problem it's not like it's you know i'm not breaking any government secrets or anything you know so yeah Make sure to like this video and I'll see you for more FTD content. Bye and thank you for watching.